Hey YouTubers, John from A Global, and if you have a Chamberlain MyQ Wi-Fi garage door opener and want to add a second button, uh, the button that you see here will not work on this model. And uh, please stay tuned, I'll show you what button you're going to need. So my model is the Chamberlain B550. It's a medium lift power, half horsepower, uh, belt driven garage door opener. It has the three button remotes, there's two of them. It has the uh, wireless keypad, you can use your smartphone, and it has a dual function wall control. But what I'm missing is this here, another button to open it. So I want to add that on, and you can't use a regular doorbell button like this one. This one illuminates fine, but it doesn't allow the door to open. So something internally won't allow that to work, you have to get a special button. As you can see here, this is the dual function wall control, and this is the one I use inside the house. The problem I was having is I want a second button uh, inside the garage, so if I were to leave the man door, I could close the door from the outside in the garage. Actually, from the inside of the garage. So the cheapest one I could find compatible is the LiftMaster 883LM Security Plus 2.0 MyQ door control push button, which is the one you see here. And this also has another product number where you can use the LiftMaster 041A7367-3 push button door control. If you're interested on purchasing either one of these, I'll have a, a link in the description of this video. It's an affiliate link to take you right to the right part number. If you like what you've seen so far, please click the like button and uh, click subscribe. It helps out a fellow YouTuber. So to replace this is actually fairly easy. You just remove the two screws holding it to the wall and then remove the two screws on the, uh, the back of the doorbell button. Um, I'd advise to actually kill the power to the garage door opener before you do this. And here you can see the new button. It actually has the light control on the side. It looks like a slide, but it's actually a button. And uh, all I'm gonna do is uh, back off the screws on the back panel of this, the new button and then uh, go ahead and attach the wires. Obviously the red goes to the plus side and it's labeled red and the white goes to the other one. Now in order to find this, I actually had to call Chamberlain themselves to figure this out. So hopefully, you know, there's nothing else out there on this and I, I wanted to give everybody a heads up on what they could use that'll actually work. So please click that like button and subscribe and click on that hyperlink. Uh, that I have uh, where it'll find you a great price to get the new button. So now that we got this wired up we're just gonna put in the screws here and actually the screws that fit into the same hole as the other button that was in there so it made it pretty easy there's no pre-drilling or anything like that and uh, I'd, I'd use caution using a drill you don't want to over tighten it because it could crack the, the new button and uh, You'll see that uh, this one actually works really nice. So in order to get this to work, I've noticed that you have to hit the light button, and it's actually a push button on the side, and that's what allows it to open up. So if you have some issues where you wire it in, it doesn't work, you push the button, you want to hit the light button on the side. It's not a slide button, it's, it's an actual push button that makes it work. So uh, one little helpful tip there for you. So if you're new to my channel, uh, please uh, check out some of my other videos. Here's, an, here's a shot of, I actually put the wiring inside the track, and um, I have a video on that. And uh, please stay tuned for more in future videos that uh, may be helpful to you in the future. And again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It's free. Thank you.